BMW's M5CS is the most powerful BMW M car ever, with 635 horsepower, a rest of 62 time of just 3 seconds, and a top speed of 189 miles an hour. You'd really need track day membership to justify ownership of this super saloon and justify its huge price tag, but if you're brave enough to push this V8 powerhouse to its ultimate limit, you won't be disappointed. It must have been quite a challenge for BMW to make their M5 competition super saloon even more focused. But that's what we've got here with this car, the M5 CS. CS originally stood on BMWs for either club sport or competition sport. And the Bavarian mark has used this badge in recent years to identify various, even faster versions of its full M models, usually M3s and M4s. The result has tended to be machines really most suited to the track, but BMW assures us that this M5's remit as an uber-capable road car has been retained here. It gets a small weight reduction and an even smaller power hike, but a range of detail engineering changes will please enthusiasts, particularly those looking to take this car on track. As we'll tell you later, this M5 CS costs significantly more than a standard M5 competition. So what do you get that's different? Well, the most powerful engine that BMW makes for a start, this 4.4 litre V8 developing 635 horsepower. So 62 miles an hour from rest takes three seconds on the way to 189 miles an hour. Mind you, that's not much different to what you get with the standard M5 competition. 625 horsepower, 62 miles an hour for rest in 3.3 seconds, and a limited top speed of 155 miles an hour. The DriveLogic equipped M Steptronic 8-speed paddle shift auto transmission isn't much changed either. But BMW says you need to drill down into the detail here. The CS features a 7mm drop in ride height compared to the standard model, plus it's 70 kilos lighter and gets shock absorbers developed for the BMW M8 Grand Coupe. These reduce a fluctuation in wheel loads, greatly improving on the limit handling. The bearing springs at the front and rear axle of the M5 CS have been retuned and damper controls also been refined in keeping with the lower vehicle weight and the bespoke Pirelli P0 Corsa tyres increased performance potential. We should also tell you that the engine mounts get an upgraded spring rating while the V8 itself gets optimised turbochargers and has maximum injection pressure of 350 bar for shorter injection times and improved atomization of fuel. More importantly, if you've petrol running through your veins, you'll find that this twin-turbo engine plays an addictive tune through its M-Sport tuned tailpipes. As in a normal M5 competition, you can tailor the M xDrive four-wheel drive system to your preference via four-wheel drive and four-wheel drive sport or a two-wheel drive mode for pure rear wheel drive and circuit drifting. And of course, there's the usual M configuration that allows you to alter stability settings, engine response, suspension and steering feel with red wheel-mounted M shortcut buttons. A range of little details mark this M5 CS apart from its M5 competition stablemate. The bonnet is made entirely from lightweight CFRP or carbon fibre reinforced plastic and enthusiasts will pick up that the kidney grille with its CS badge has a surround finished in gold bronze. There are yellow laser lights and the front splitter is taken from the BMW M8. As are the exterior mirror caps. The M gills on the front wings get more gold bronze, a finish which also features on the 20-inch M-forged Y-speed wheels. 
At the back, the rear spoiler on the boot lid and the rear diffuser are both also made from CFRP. There's another M5CS badge, but the Bavarian Cognizenti won't need that to identify this model. Having clocked this top variant's bespoke sports exhaust system with its gold bronze accented quartet of stainless steel tailpipes. Will it be equally unique inside? Let's see. Step inside and you'll find that the interior layout with its DTM style red edged M carbon bucket style seats is exclusive to the CS model. These chairs feature fine grain merino leather, black upholstery with eye catching contrasting panels and decorative stitching in Mugella red, while the outline of the legendary Nürburgring circuit imprinted on the head restraints is a reminder of the car's sporting potential. The rim of the M Alcantara steering wheel is wrapped in the race-derived material from which it takes its name, while its centre marker perforation with red background is another classic race car influence. The gear shift paddles are made from carbon fibre, the gear stick gets red trimming and the steering wheel spokes have black chrome trim. Elsewhere, Alcantara is also used for the headliner. To save weight, a fixed lightweight cover sits atop the centre console, replacing the usual armrest and oddments tray. Red CS badging features on the instrument panel, and the M seat belts feature red and blue contrast stitching that pays homage to the BMW M colours. Otherwise, the usual M5 cabin items feature. So there's this lovely, thick, three-spoke M leather steering wheel with its important two red memory setting buttons that you'll want to program to your preferences at the earliest opportunity. Through this wheel, you view an M-branded set of graphics in the standard digital cockpit instrument binnacle screen. And because BMW has wanted to retain more of the look of traditional circular gauges, you can't completely customise the layout of this dial area in the way that would be possible in Mercedes and Audi rivals, but it's still graphically smart and the red-needled readouts have a realistic DTM-style feel. We particularly like the way that dial numbers are highlighted as the needle approaches them and the manner in which the gauge display areas are configurable in different ways to show a variety of information such as fuel consumption and sat-nav instructions. Mind you, it won't be necessary to look at any of this very much if you make full use of the standard head-up display which has a bespoke M view option and would be a boon if you were really trying to focus flat out on a track. As in an ordinary 5, the centre of the dash is dominated by a big 10.25-inch colour iDrive screen, the brand's professional multimedia and navigation system. You'll quickly bond with the simple, intuitive way it works, the monitor divided into simple connected drive, media or radio, navigation, my vehicle, communications and notifications segments. This is a touchscreen interface and you can also operate it by BMW's gesture control feature, recognising up to six hand gestures via a 3D sensor at the base of the control display. Right, enough of that. Let's take a seat in the rear. get these exclusive individual seats which won't please family enthusiasts but go with the whole performance vibe. A CS badge fills the centre space where the useful middle seat would usually be. There's this lower compartment between the chairs. As usual in an M5 there's a fraction less leg and knee space than you'd get in a rival Mercedes AMG E63 or Audi RS6 but the differences aren't very great and this BMW betters those two rivals when it comes to ceiling height. Finally, let's raise the aluminium boot lid, rather pointlessly electrically operable as standard, and have a look at the luggage area, which is 530 litres in size. Loading up a couple of large suitcases is easy with little intrusion from the wheel arches or suspension, and there are four securing hooks to tie down loads safely. Unlike in an ordinary M5, you can't push forward the rear seat backs to extend the cargo area.
you'll need quite a lot more cash for this M5 CS. At the time of this test in early 2022, the standard M5 competition listed at just over £102,000, whereas BMW wanted just under £141,000 from you for the CS version from launch. Still, lots of little details will make you feel better about that outlay. Open the bonnet, for instance, and check out how the V8 engine here gets a bespoke BMW M Power cover made from exposed carbon fibre and bearing a full colour M logo. Then look at these gold 20 inch wheels with their M carbon ceramic brakes and Note how the alloy rims are shouldered Pirelli P0 Corsa track tyres measuring 275-35R20 at the front and 285-35R20 at the rear. CS spec gets you piercing yellow BMW laser light headlamps too. These featuring additional black shading. The L-shaped light tubes are unexpectedly versatile. As daytime driving lights and side lights, they shine in the familiar white. But when low or high beam is activated, they switch to a distinctive yellow tone that BMW M5 CS drivers can also see from the outside when they unlock the car remotely, triggering the welcome light. The M5 CS is available in three different paint shades. Brands Hatch Grey Metallic or exclusive BMW individual matte paint finishes. Frozen Deep Green Metallic and Frozen Brands Hatch Grey Metallic. On to safety. Now you'll be expecting this car to be state of the art in this regard as BMW claims it is. M5 buyers get as standard the camera driven features of the driving assistant pack that's extra on more ordinary 5 series models. This includes six state of the art features. Perhaps most important of these is what BMW calls approach control warning. Basically this is one of those autonomous braking systems that scans the road ahead as you drive in search of potential accident hazards, either vehicles or people. If one's detected, you'll be warned. If you don't respond or aren't able to, the brakes will automatically be applied to decrease the severity of any resulting accident. As for the other five driving assistant pack features, well, there's a lane departure warning system to help keep you in lane on the highway, a lane change warning feature that detects vehicles in your blind spot if you're about to pull out to overtake, a speed limit information setup that pictures speed signs as you pass and displays them on the dash, and a crossing traffic warning feature that uses radar sensors to check for approaching traffic when backing out of a perpendicular parking space. Also very useful is the prevention of rear collision feature that helps you to avoid rear end impacts by automatically flashing the hazard lights at vehicles that are following your M5 too closely while at the same time preparing the car for an impact should the worst happen. This CS model's small weight reduction doesn't help you with running cost efficiency, of course. That's rated here at 25 to 25.9 mpg for combined cycle fuel economy and 248 to 250 grams per kilometre for CO2. For reference, a Mercedes AMG E63 manages 26.2 mpg on the combined cycle and 245 grams per kilometre of CO2. What else might you need to know? Well, routine maintenance is dictated by condition-based servicing that monitors oil level and engine wear, taking into account how long it's been and how far the car has travelled since its previous garage visit. Like all M cars, this one needs a first running in service at 1,200 miles. On to the warranty package. Now, BMW offers a warranty that lasts for three years, no matter how many miles you complete. You can also insure your car through BMW, though, as most M5s will be funded with company money through a lease deal, the brokerage fees are likely to be bundled into that. If you're the one paying the premium, the M5 CS predictably sits in a top of the shop Group 50.
According to BMW, each M5 generation has brought us greater levels of technological innovation. That's one way of looking at it. Another would be to point out that only the first E28 generation version had a fully motorsport-tuned engine, and that since then we've lost the purity of straight-six engine wear, the instancy and screaming character of normally aspirated power, and what was once the founding tenant of BMW design, rear-wheel drive engineering. At the same time, though, much has certainly been gained, as you'll discover at the wheel of an M5 CS. With the standard version of this F90 series model, BMW's development team proved that an all-wheel drive M5 could still retain a rear-driven, enthusiast-orientated character, and they delivered a super saloon that's as happy collecting your dry cleaning as it is on the Nürburgring Nordschleife. This M5 CS would, of course, be even happier on the Nordschleife, but it's still the ultimate road-going super saloon, as every M5 should be.